Welcome to part two of my video series on tuning diesel automatic transmissions. If you recall in part one, I covered the key shift controls, which included the vacuum modulator, the VCV valve, and the pressure control rod or pressure control cable. In this video, I want to talk more specifically about the VCV valve. This is a very unique valve and was only on those models from 1978 to 1985 that had a vacuum modulator on the transmission. Let's move in close and I'll show you some of the key features of this unit. I must say this is a very interesting unit. When you look at it, you may be asking yourself, what in the world is this thing supposed to do anyway? There is a vacuum hose connection here at the top. There's another vacuum hose connection here on the side. And note this little cover plate. You know, you kind of think, well, what's that cover plate supposed to do? And then if you turn it over, you'll note there's this really strange looking linkage that's connected to a lever. And if you push up on the linkage, you can feel the spring-loaded mechanism inside the valve. This valve uses vacuum to control the shift quality of the transmission. And it's connected to the linkage through the throttle mechanism on your injection pump. There's something really important that I need to mention right here at this point in this video. Before you even attempt adjusting or messing around with your VCV valve, you must make absolutely sure that you have a healthy vacuum system. This includes checking all your vacuum hoses and connections. Make sure they're secure, make sure there's no oil and uh, swollen rubber connectors anywhere in the system. And if your engine is so equipped, you need to take a close look at those three two valves located on top of the valve cover to make sure there's no split hoses or leaks in that area. And then finally, you need to check the vacuum hose routing of your car. Um, if somebody's gotten in there and they've messed with those hoses and plugged them in wrong, you'll never get the VCV valve working properly. You can usually find a vacuum diagram located on the front core support on your car. A lot of times that's missing. Uh, we do include in my manual on vacuum source troubleshooting schematics for most of the older diesels. If you're not familiar with how to test your vacuum system, with how to check your vacuum pump output, then I highly recommend that you buy my manual vacuum source troubleshooting and repair and read that thoroughly. Once you've determined that you have a healthy vacuum system and that your vacuum pump is producing the proper amount of vacuum, you can move on to testing and adjusting this unit right here. The reason it's called the VCV is because in the manuals they call it a vacuum control unit. I tend to call it the vacuum transmission shift control unit or whatever you want to call it. But this unit right here is extremely critical to control how smooth your transmission shifts. And if it's not working properly or it's not adjusted properly, you're going to either have a jerking shift or you're going to have a shift that wants to flare up and even slip between the gears. So this is an important unit. It's not that easy to test. You cannot test it off the car. It has to be on the engine with the engine running and hooked up to test it properly. I go over that test procedure in detail in my uh, manual and I also have a kit. You're going, to, you're going to need a little vacuum gauge with a number of connectors in order to test the output of this valve. And it's not an expensive kit, but it is available on my website. It allows you to hook up the vacuum gauge and hoses to this to test it properly. I, I know that this unit can drive you crazy. I remember the first time I saw this thing and I thought, what in the world? That's the most funniest looking little vacuum control I've ever seen. Well, after living with these for a number of years, I've learned how to work with them, adjust them, test them. But if they go bad, then you will have a, a challenge, a big challenge, because these are no longer available new. We recently checked with Mercedes-Benz, and they don't even have any plans to reproduce these. So if yours is not working, yes, you do have a big challenge on hand. I recently took one apart. I thought, well, maybe there's a way to overhaul these. Maybe there's a way to get in there and fix them. And you can see here with all these pieces on the bench, I didn't have a whole lot of success. The key component, as you see here, is a spring-loaded vacuum diaphragm inside a sealed housing, and that is usually the unit that fails if the valve is not holding proper vacuum as you travel through the throttle movements. So if you have a problem with the valve, 
you're going to have to go on a hunt for a good used one. From time to time, we do find these and we have them available on our website, but it's very limited. So, in conclusion, you must have a good working VCV valve on your older diesel automatic to get it to shift properly.